Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lack TV. As you have no doubt heard, Twitch Sings will be shut down as of January 1st, 2021. It really sucks, um, especially for those of us who have built a community um, off the back of Twitch Sings. Uh, but hopefully all the small creators out there will continue to thrive on, on new games and find uh, more people to uh, hang out with over, over on those games instead. Um, in the meantime, the rest of us need to get our duets off of Twitch and onto our hard drives. Because once they shut down the game, they're also going to be deleting all of the songs off Twitch because they no longer have the rights and so they're not allowed to have them on there. So, what does that mean for us? We need to download them. And how do we do that? With this program. This is called Twitch Leecher. 1.8.1 1. 1. is the latest version. It was released not too long ago and it's developed by Freniac. Now, all you need to do is go to this website. I'll put a link in the description below and download this file. Twitch Leecher 1.8.1.exe. Download that, install it. Pretty straightforward, very easy, completely free. Once you've done that, the program that you'll install looks like this. Right, now, basically, you go to a new search and you have a number of options. You've got channel, URLs, or IDs. We'll start with channel because it is the easiest of the three options. So all you need to do is put your, your channel name in. So in my case, uh, obviously my, na my channel name is Lack TV. Um, and then you select uh, either broadcast, highlight or upload. You cannot with this program at least download clips. Um, and you select the date that you want to, ignore that notification, um, date that you want to search between. So in this case, we're just gonna search for the last week. But if you were looking at, wanted to look at every single one of the seeds you've ever done, you can go back years if you really want to. But we're just gonna do a short search for this for now um, of only a week. Now this is gonna bring back, it's give, give me 51 results of the songs that I've sung with people over the last week. I can choose any one of them. So in this case, we'll go for um, BB. Um, and so basically once you press download, you get these options. Now you have the choice of changing the, the video quality or downloading audio only if you really want to. Now keep in mind that if you're gonna be downloading like 100, 200, 300 songs, however many you're gonna download, even thousands if you're really gonna go that far, um, that can take up a lot of space. So if you don't have a lot of space, you know, and you really just care about what the what it sounds like, then you can just drop the video quality down um, and you will, uh, you, you'll still get the audio quality won't change. But if you want to re-upload them elsewhere, for example, you know, YouTube, then, you know, you want to keep it as high quality as possible. Now, the next thing you can do is you, you say where you want it. So you just choose the actual file location and then it will produce a file name already. Now, if you don't like that file name and you like keeping things a little bit more organized, click on use custom file name and change everything before the .mp4. So in this case, you leave the .mp4 because that's the file format. Um, so you gotta have that on there, otherwise it won't work. And you, in my case, I'd like BBX Bender Gravity, right? .mp4. And then you just click download. Now that will bring you over to the download section. I've done this video a couple of times now. So here we go. And so it is going to download the song to your hard drive. And that's it, that song is done. Now the next thing you gotta wonder is, Okay, so that's really good for finding things that um, I've sung with people, but what about when someone sung with me and I wanna keep that particular file? So in order to do that, it's a slightly little more complicated process, but not that much. It's really not that difficult. So all you do is you have a look over on Twitter, on Twitch, sorry, not Twitter, because that makes no sense. And you, got, you go to the, the, uh, the, the search bar, and so you type duet, and you type your name, right? And then that will bring up down, and then scroll down because it brings a whole bunch of crap you don't care about, but scroll down and it'll give you a list of everyone who has sung with you. And now if you press show all videos, then it will show all the people that have sung with you ever. And it'll be endlessly scrolling. But there will be some that are missing now and then. So just keep in mind that it's not perfect, um, but it is the best we have. Um, the other option you can do is if you're looking for a particular person, you can go back into the 
Twitch Leecher program, so this program here, and change the file name if you really want to do it that way. But then you're going to have to sit there and look through, you know, thousands and thousands of someone else's videos to find when they've sung with you. Um, if you're going to do, if you're going to go that route, I would, I would probably recommend instead typing the other person's name afterwards. So, in this case, uh, BB Expender. If I was looking for something that BB specifically sang with me, then I would. I would do it that way, right? So this is going to show everything that you, that, that person has sung with you. Now, alternatively, if you want to see everything that you've sung with a particular person, this is a side note, but just FYI, then change it so that their name is first and your name is second in the search. And that'll do the opposite. So if the person's on the left-hand side, it means that that is the person that sang it originally. And so that's just all the stuff that I've sung with that person. Now, that is probably the best way to go. I mean, the other option you've got is to go through your um, your game itself and work out exactly which songs you want to um, you want to do. But in this case, you know, we're looking at this song that um, actually we'll go the other way around. So the way, okay, so we'll do this version where BB sang with me. Copy that URL at the top there, and then back in the program which is over here. In the URL section, we drop the URL in like that, right? Now, obviously, if you try to, if you try to search that, it's not going to work because it's, it wants this particular file format here. So all you need to do is delete the person's name, so in this case, BB, BB's name, and change the word video to videos. And that will allow that video link to be downloaded, right? Comes up and it's a thing. Now the other option, back in search, is to go to the, see this number on the end, that's the video ID number. So the other option you can do is just drop that video ID in and press search and it'll bring up the video. And at that point you can download and grab it the way you normally would. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the only two ways of getting stuff. You can either search your own channel or you can use the, the URLs or the ID numbers. Now you can use the uh, the Twitch, web, Twitch website to actually do a search of your own stuff and go down it that way, or you can use the channel search to do it that way. I mean, it's really up to you how you want to do it, but that's generally how you're going to get all of your videos off the internet and onto your hard drive. I hope that's helped you. Um, I know that this is a really shitty time um, for all of us who have built a, a, a community here on, on Twitch, but hopefully um, we'll all... Stay together and keep watching each other's content and uh, hopefully I will see you all on the flip side. Um, but in the meantime, let's have a lot of fun over the next four months and, uh, and sing a lot of songs together. Um, I'll see you all over on Twitch. Have a good one. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.